Let's stick with diet, and you promote the paleo diet or lifestyle. Can you explain that versus maybe some others? And I, I think people get that confused maybe with, with other diets and think that it's, it's all steaks and a couple vegetables, you know, and things like that. So explain exactly what you, what you promote. Thank you for asking about that because I think it, there's the, what is out there on the paleo diet has gotten to be very distorted from the original research. So Lauren Cordain, um, who, who made me aware of the research about 14 years ago, um, is, is truly the hunter-gatherer lifestyle. So that really rules out all these refined grains and dairy. So a lot of people that are talking about the paleo diet include dairy. So first of all, there's no animal dairy in the paleo diet, not even ghee. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, that, there's, so when you are buying the pre-made paleo, you, you have to look for the butter part to really get the, the health benefits that I see with the type of true paleo, the paleo that I recommend. And so in the hunter-gatherer diet, you know, it's it's much more plant-based as far as uh, lots of vegetables, a little bit of fruit, and then they didn't have tons of meat. Like there was, they would have a, a, a capture at some points, <laughs> but then they'd, you know, eat some and then save it and then gradually eat it until they got their next catch. So it really should be mostly vegetables, a little bit of fruit, some nuts and seeds, and then condiments and meat. So I really recommend that people have half of their plates of the really good vegetables, the broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, um, asparagus, squash, and, um, and load up on those phy phytonutrients that then inform our immune systems what to do, um, really help to decrease inflammation and then do the rebuilding.